Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to show you some good places to use your potion of luck to uh, farm some chests. Uh, the first place I'm going to show you is in the Jade Forest. It is um, in the same area that you do the Cloud Serpent quests and gather the Onyx eggs. If you stand about right here, see we're right here on the map, stand about right here, these egg drinkers run in from this direction to, uh, to you right here. And if you're a class that has some decent AoE, it's uh, not hard at all. For the hunter example, you want to throw some serpent stings on them, and get them in a little group, and then you're going to start multiple shotting. You probably want to um, get rid of uh, life tiles and barrage, but you don't have to. But any class can do this that has AOE. Uh, after you kill a few. They'll start coming more and more. Just round them up. And AOE them down. I didn't actually use a potion. I'm just showing you guys where these spots are at. And what they look like. And you can see they really start coming. You can pull some of these turtles in. The main thing is you just want to get them all gathered up. And these guys actually have a really good drop chance on the chest. Yeah, this is this one, guys. It's really easy. They run right to you. You don't really have to go out of your way to gather them up. It's, uh, this is one of my favorite places. to farm. Anyway guys, I'll see you in Valley of the Four Winds. Hey guys, we're in Valley of the Four Winds, uh, right here on the map. Now, this place is only really good if you're a skinner, because you can just kill an insane amount of goats and uh, mushin. And if you're a miner, it's nice. There's some uh, mining spots around here that you can get. But anyway, uh, the one thing about these guys is when you pull them, if you're next to the edge, they'll send you flying off the edge and you'll die from the fall damage most of the time. So when you pull them, you want to be sure that uh, there's land uh, right behind you so you don't get knocked off. Um, and then you just pull these guys their chance to drop chests is not anywhere near as good as the previous place that I just showed you. But if you're a skinner, you can just skin an insane amount in a short time here. You can skin all these. And uh, they die really fast. What I usually do is I'll kill this group, kill this group, then this group, then this group, then here, here, and by the time I've killed that group, uh, the group down here at the bottom is already spawned again. So you just make that circle, killing them over and over and over and skinning them. And you can just skin huge amounts. Alright guys, our next place is in Krasering Wilds. Um, trying to find them here. 
There's two places in Krasering, so I'll see you back in Krasering. Hey guys, I found the spots in Krasering that I, I usually farm when I come here. This place is probably the most popular place to farm. Um, you just go around and kill all these things and they pretty much spawn as soon as they die. Uh, I hardly ever get this place because there's usually somebody here but there's there's not right now. But this is a very very good place. Uh, you'll see a lot of people who stream will stream this place. Now I found this other place because th that one there is always taken and sometimes I would pop my potion and start farming and then you know, a group of alliance would come by and kill me or an alliance in heroic raid gear or something um, so I found this other place because I would, I would already have my potion I didn't want to waste it so I didn't want to fly all the way back to Jade Forest or all the way up to Towns Long well, I flew down here. I believe it's right here. This island on the map, I, I think. We'll check right here to be sure. There's tons of hosen. And you can pull really large groups of them. Yeah, it's this place right here. So you can pull all these hosen right here in one pool. You can pull these in one pull right here. You can gather up these right here. Pull those. You can gather these. And then here's your big pull. You gather all those. You can gather all these around here. You can gather all these. Then by the time you've killed these, the ones back at the start are probably spawning. So this is a good place to go if you already used your potion at the other place and the other faction took it. Or maybe somebody your own faction comes along and starts killing things and you're only getting half as much then. You can come here. This is a pretty decent place. It's not as good as the other one in Krasering. But, um... It actually, it's... fairly decent. Our next place is in Townslong. So I'll see you guys in Townslong. Alright, I uh, found the place in Townslong. It's on this island right here named, uh... Sraves. And you're going to be killing these Manted. You can pull uh, pretty large groups of these. Like, you can go down here and pull all these and, and pull these in one group. Along with these. AOE those down and then come over here and just pull all these. These things respawn really fast, too. Um... You can come down here and kill these kun, uh, kun chongs. Uh The only bad thing about those is they will stun you over and over and over. And you can't fly over this place. Um, if you saw this debuff I get right here, it'll kick me off my mount if I have it for three seconds. But you can pull all these if you want. You just gotta really count them because they'll stun you and then... They'll stun you so much they actually can kill you. But these Manted respawn really fast. Um, this place um, is pretty good. It's not as good as the uh, one place in Krasarang. It's not anywhere near as good as that. But um, it works pretty well. If the place in Krasarang is taken and it's place in Jade Forest is taken and um, the place I'm about to show you in the Vale is taken 
I would come here, uh, definitely. But I'll see you in the Vale for our last gold farming spot that I'm going to show you. Alright guys, we're here in the Vale. One of the great things about farming in the Vale is pretty much everything has a chance to drop uh, sky shards. Now a popular place people come is you can come here and round up all these things and they have a chance to drop the sky shards and with, with your potion of luck they have a pretty good chance to drop your chests. But there is another place you can farm. You can farm right here. I've seen some people farm here. And there's another place. Right here it is. You can farm right here fairly well. There's already some people here. Packs of the Thunder Maws run through, and then there's packs of these Mogu. The uh, drop rates on the chests, well, the rates are probably gonna be the same, but you're not gonna get, you're, you're not gonna be able to kill as many mobs as fast as you can at the other places. But you're gonna be making gold through your potion of luck, and you're probably gonna get a mount in the process. The Al Alani mounts, um, I don't know, they probably sell for what about twenty thousand. That's generally what I see them in chat for, 10 to 20, uh, 30,000, something like that. So that's just gold added right on top of the gold you're getting from your Potion of Luck, too. Because um, if you farm here long enough, you will get enough Sky Shards. But anyway, guys, um, I hope these farming spots uh, help you.